pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism once again pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism guys i have written for you some longest word of the english language and today i'm going to just share you these words so the first one is i'd like to just tell you that's called you know pneumono ultra microscopic silk volcan coniosis this is the longest word once again pneumono ultra microscopic silk volcan coniosis this is longest word which means the disease of lung issue this is the disease of lung uh, one type of disease of lung right now the next one is i've taken for you the next one is i've taken for you that's called pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism this is a genetic disorder i choose pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism like that you can read that okay this is the second one now i've taken for you the next one that's called a very amazing actually people use this one that's a supercalifragilistic expellidosis supercalifragilistic expellidosis do you think what's the meaning of this exactly? That means supercalifragilistic expelidosis. It means that fantastic. I can say, that, wow, you're looking fantastic. So in spite of using the fantastic word, I can use here supercalifragilistic expelidosis. Wow, guys, you all are looking supercalifragilistic expelidosis. So this is supercalifragilistic expelidosis. Clear? Now, I've taken for you now the next one. That's called flossy nosy nihili pilification. Once again. Flossy nosy nihilipilification. This is also a longest longest word of the English language. Which means so we can say that useless, worthless, or bekar in English, right? So the quality of bekar to think something like okay, this is like that. Come on. Now the next one is I have taken for you. That's a very very tremendous word for you actually to understand this. This is a very nice for you to know. And that's called unreficability to denitatibus. Once again, unreficability to denitatibus. This is the longest word of the English language in which there is consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. After one consonant, there is vowel. After one consonant, there is vowel. So this, this, this is the longest word of the English language. So, I think that you have got now. And next one is the last one is hippopotomonstrosis kibdialiphobia. Hippopotomonstrosis kibdialiphobia. This is a fear of longest word clear so guys i hope that you have got all the not all the some of the you know longest words of the English language so guys thank you so much for watching this video and share if you like this for the next video thank you thank you so much see you in the next video thank you jain jabarat